Let's talk about Backstage and if it's a good solution for you. A great place to start is why Backstage exists. At Spotify, developers were unable to find resources because the organization was so large. So they were recreating those resources because they didn't know that they existed. So Backstage came in to solve a good problem. However, when they gave it to the open source community, people started using it in their own ways. And there's three main ways that they use it. Firstly, for discoverability, as we just mentioned. Secondly, as a single pane of glass and as a portal. And thirdly, as a software template and to bootstrap infrastructure. Let's talk about each of these one by one. Discoverability. Now, if you're the same size as Spotify, it definitely has a lot of value. However, if you're not, it might not align with where your priorities are. And it might not be the right solution for you. Secondly, using it as a portal or a single pane of glass. Now, Backstage does benefit from a wide variety of plugins that have been added by the open source community or third party vendors, and having them all together in one place can be an advantage. You do need to look at each of these plugins one by one. Now, if they do come from the open source community, you can find yourself contributing to it to make sure that it actually works perfectly. Thirdly, software templates and self-service of infrastructure. Now, software templates is a great way to get your developers moving as fast as possible whilst get creating some standardization. However, the self-service aspect of creating infrastructure isn't done in a great way with Backstage. And that's because it uses a bootstrapping approach. It creates everything at a time of creation. However, what about the day two problems? What if you want to create an ephemeral environment or you want to resize your database or you need to do an update? It doesn't take these things into consideration. Now, don't get me wrong, Backstage is a framework, so you can build any plugin that you want. However, there's two things you need to consider. Firstly, you need to have the skills to be able to build those uh, plugins. And it's going to be a mixture between infrastructure knowledge and TypeScript. And that's a hard combination to find. Secondly, a lot of planning and consideration needs to go into creating a plugin. What's it going to do? How is it going to work? That can sink a lot of time. So. Ultimately, you should be looking at if it's worth the investment or if there's any other solutions. And there are a lot of great solutions when it comes to self-service of infrastructure. So that's definitely something you should take into consideration. To sum all of this up, the first thing I would mention is talk to your developers. They're the people who are benefiting and utilizing this, these features. So make sure you get their input in early. Secondly, just because you see a plugin doesn't mean it works. Test it out. Make sure it has all the functions and features that you need. And thirdly, check other solutions. There are other solutions that might meet your needs better than Backstage, and that might be all that you need without having to create custom applications to make it work in the way that you want. Thank you so much for your time. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. I would love to create some dialogue underneath this.